A while back I made a video on how to clean your Super Nintendo, but a lot of people were complaining that I did not show you how to remove the plastic, or the yellowing plastic. This is not a cleaning issue. They actually put a chemical in here, a fire resistant chemical, that changed the color of the Super Nintendo in time, so now we're left with this yellow. You know, I kind of like the yellow, but it also weakens the plastic. It makes it brittle and it'll break. This, this one hasn't chipped too much. And today I'm going to show you how to restore that. So that's what your Nintendo looks like now. This is what it's supposed to look like. Now this, the top did yellow at one point, but a long time ago, I took some steel wool to it and I just scraped off all the all the yellow and that would work for the top but not for the bottom since the bottom is actually embedded in the plastic like if you see the yellow you seen on here that's actually just from sunlight that is easy to fix now there are methods using something called retro bright and what that is is pretty much like a high percentage of hydrogen peroxide you mix that with some Xantham gum, some OxyClean to make it thicker so you can actually apply it without having to soak the whole thing in plastic. Then you sit it under sunlight. But I recently found this out. This uh, Salon Care cream. It's pretty much ret retro bright in a bottle. Now I recently seen a video on Adam Korlick. He did a video of this so this is pretty much a rip off video. But I thought I should just show, show at least my viewers how, how you do it. So I guess first thing you really want to do is you want to strip down your console. There are plenty of videos on, do, on how to do that and you guys can go watch those and I'll link you in the description below. But I'm going to take apart these consoles and I'm only going to soak these in. This is pretty much like a cream. It's really high percentage of uh, hydrogen peroxide mixed with all the thickening agencies to make it a cream. So I'm going to go ahead, strip these down, and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I got it all stripped down, and this is the bottom part. As you can see, the yellow seeped through all the way to the inside. This right here, they actually did not include that chemical. So this is what we're going to compare the color to the whole time we're doing this. That's what it looks like now. That's what it's supposed to look like. And all the videos I've seen, they've never got it, uh, you know, factory new. But they got it pretty close. And if you look at this one, the one I actually used steel wool on like a, like a dummy, you can see it did not seep through. That, this one was just sun faded. And the top did not include the chemical. For some reason they only included the chemical in half of them. Sometimes the top half yellow, sometimes the bottom half yellows. So now what you want to do is, you want to get on some gloves. Okay, I got my gloves on, because this stuff is really powerful. And you want to get your, your hair salon cream, volume 40 thing. Your retro bright in a bottle. I want to shake it up. Now you can go ahead and start pouring some on here. Now I will be posting links in the bottom where you can get this. It's relatively cheap and for a cheap solution it will make your consoles, your plastic stronger and it will make it look a lot nicer. This will also reverse, just completely reverse the process. So UV light is actually going to help this get better. It'll de-yellow and it'll make it stronger. Now once we're done we're also going to wrap it up in saran wrap because that will keep the retro brights from drying out. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the whole bottom part and I also have this one this part on the non-yellowed SNES just so we can see how it looks like on minor stuff see I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I'll cut back in a second okay here I am sorry about the echo well this is really bad let me open up the door 
See if they'll help. Yeah, that helps a little bit for the echo. But here they are. They're under the UV light. This is the best I could do because that's the only black light I could find. So I'm going to leave this under here for a day. Like every eight hours, I'm going to flip it. Flip this. And that, I think that should be good after eight hours. I'll have to check. But stuff like this, that's going to have to sit for a long time. I'm going to flip and I'm going to rotate it. So this is just day one. And we're going to see what it looks like on day two. Okay, day one is complete. And I have noticed it's not anywhere close to that. But it does look better than before. I had the bottom uh, under the light a little bit longer than I had the inside. You can tell a little bit of difference between the plastics. So I'm going to let this dry by the window and let the sunlight hit this a little bit. Then I'm going to do round two. So you want this pretty, you want this really dry so you don't want any of the water diluting the hydrogen peroxide that might be in there. Here's the front. You just, it's looking a little bit better, but you're not going to expect these kind of results in day one. But here we have the front part that I also de-yellowed. That's looking pretty good. So I'm just going to leave it this like that. So this is all done. I'm going to screw this back together. Hook this back up. This is actually my main Super Nintendo right here. So I'll see you at day two. Okay, the second day is now done. This is the results of the second day. It's coming along. It's I'd say about it maybe quarter of the way there, maybe half, I don't know. But I can feel the plastic actually getting stronger. And not even with comparing it to the yellow plastic before, I can tell it, it is getting better. So you tell how fragile this stuff was before. Long a couple years ago when I tried opening this or screwing it back on, this thing broke off just so easily. And then there is a crack right there. But if you go back and look, you can probably tell that it is getting better. So now if I compare it to the top. I mean it's still yellow, still pretty really yellow. But it's going to take a couple more days, three or four more days. I'm going to go let this sit in the sun. And what I notice is when you let it sit in the sun for a little bit, it does help it out. So I'm going to put this in the sun and we're going to take a look. And here's also another comparison. That's the color it's supposed to be. That's the color of the current plastic. Okay, here we are on the third day. It is looking better. It's nowhere near perfect. I still got two more days left to go. I'm going to try to get this done in five days. See, how, see what I can do in like a business week's time. I might go longer. But this is what it looks like when it's put together. It does look better than when I started. So as long as it's starting to look better... And it can also tell that it's getting, the plastic itself is getting stronger. I just pulled this one out underneath the, pull this out from the black light. And I just got to let this sit in the window and dry off. But as a comparison, that's what it's supposed to look like. That's what it looks like now. Okay, so here is day four. And it's a, kind of looks the same maybe a little bit better as day three and if you can compare it you know, what it, oops sorry what it's supposed to be like and what it is I mean it's a lot better than what it normally was originally was and this is what the console would look like if it's put together see it's still pretty bad it's not the best but it is better than what it was before so I'm going to kick it up a notch and I got a couple of these fluorescent black lights and I'm going to put it in one of my 
light boxes that I have. And we're going to see if that has, gives it a little bit more UV light. Because I think that's what it's lacking is the UV light. Because that little light I have right now isn't powerful enough, I don't think, to do much more. It's going to storm tomorrow. So I'm going to do a couple more days on this. And then I'm going to let it sit out in the sun all day. And see if that will change anything. Okay, here we are. I'm back in the bathroom. And I got my light bulbs in my light box. As you can see that I got two of them in there. I can tell it's getting, there's a lot more light, a lot more cover, especially you can tell that on camera. So I'm just going to let this sit here for eight hours on each side. If this doesn't change much, then I, I'll keep doing this. Or I might just let it sit until it's sunny out again. Then I'll let it sit in the sun for a whole day and see how that works. Okay, so a couple more days of not getting any results out of the black light, these things. I decided to uh, put some more salon cream on there, put some saran wrap on there, put it on the sun. And I didn't put any on this side because I thought this was good enough. And these are the results. The color wise, it's pretty much spot on. But the only bad thing is, like what couple people said is that if you let, let it in the sun it'll you know streak like this so kind of got a little bad streaking going on that's why I didn't jump to the sun right away I try to build up to it but it should just be good enough so if we put this on here And that looks pretty good. I mean, like, really good. I'll take the streaking over normal yellowing any day. And I did not de-yellow the top, which had a little bit of sun fading. So you can tell between these two right here. That actually looks pretty factory as color-wise, minus the streaking. But as you're playing, you're not really going to notice the streaking that much under lower light. Like if I turn off these lights, just under normal light, it's not as noticeable. Especially in person. Camera picks it up quite a bit. I guess I'm going to go reassemble this bad boy, and we're going to see how she looks. And I also did the top of this Dreamcast. I did take a picture of it but I forgot to make a video. It was mainly this side right here and parts of here that were really yellow. As in comparison I did not do the bottom because I did, definitely didn't want to take all this apart. That's what it looked like. That's what it looks like now. That was only after one day of Retro Bright. That's after one day. Probably about 16 hours worth. Now it looks, now the top pretty much looks factory. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was a good uh, video for you guys. Good little experiment. This looks really good.